This leech is currently sucking on. Well, he's got a, an anterior end, a, a front end, and a back end. The front end is where his jaws are going to be. And as we can see coming through here, he's moving along. His hind end has a sucker. There he goes, he's bringing himself up. And as they, I'd rather him be on the back side of my hand, not the side that I actually do work with. So let me see if I can move him. There we go. Beautiful colors. And you can see him kind of moving along. And if he's cutting into me, he does have big jaws. So you can see there he's got a, a, a posterior or a back end sucker. And then he's got a front end sucker. Is he biting on? Uh, he might be, I'm not actually sure. Uh, I think maybe yes, but I can't even, oh yes, actually, <laughs> he just bit in. Um, definitely he bit in and now he's feeding. So the, ah, so I can't really feel it very much um, because in addition to their four jaws that they have, they also have um, something called Herudinea. Uh, uh, That's going to be a chemical to prevent my um, blood from clotting so they can feed really, really effectively. And at the same time, they have an anesthetic so that I can't really feel him cutting into me. That said, since I know he's there and I'm kind of paying attention to it, I can definitely feel him biting into me a little bit. Oh, yeah. Should we put him <laughs> back in the water? No, because I do want, the whole point was I wanted to get him to feed. So he needs what to feed for a little bit. One? We'll deal with that one in a minute, Tyler, but this is weird enough. So it's a little <laughs> bit creepy. I've got to admit, I've never done this on purpose before. I've definitely had leeches on me before. <laughs> now, why would you not want... Oh, it looks like he's gotten fatter. Yes, I think he's getting a fair amount of blood, so we'll wait and see. If we... Here, come back a little bit so we're making sure that it's in focus. If we are sitting there um, uh, letting him hopefully get fatter and fatter so that we won't have to do this again with another couple months, why is it that you might not want to do this at home? One of the things is that you're not really sure if leeches are going to um, carry diseases or not. So if leeches feed on blood, if they feed on the blood of one person and then go feed on the blood of another person, if you get, you're basically, if you got a blood transfusion, you could really get some nasty diseases. That said, 